you are invited to do it to win and cutting corner where high does and talk crazy or yezi bana papo subscribe to hilda's kitchen good food made in a clean environment you will find a saturday special hey hey la you will find a bon appetit Good food made in a clean environment. Good food, Hilda's kitchen. Oh, yes, even papa. Oh, yeah, good food, Hilda's kitchen. Good food, Hilda's kitchen. Oh, yes, even papa. Good afternoon. Buon pomeriggio a tutti. E buongiorno anche. E vungo posto che sei. Io mo biara aha. De. I hope the baby will be out here and then you are What are we coming to do? I'm coming to prepare a mood to um, my hometown where I come from. I'm to it. Hey, you see my mood to it. So today we are coming to do a mood to What is a mood to A mood to is rice balls. It's like a, a, a basista. A basinia sister. So we are going to make our rice very soft and then we'll make them in balls, which we can use to eat. A banga soup or granite soup, even if you get annoyed, you can use it to eat okra stew, a bok of pepper, and they be a mood to it. And we are going to add butter to our mood to it. Someone will ask, Why are you going to add butter to the mood to it? Because mostly we think about ourselves, we forget our little, you know, baby when you are eating and they want to eat some. The soup is hot. So you can add the mutu to the soup. So you give the um the rice to them just like that raw. So we are going to add some uh, butter to it, which you can easily and equally use to feed your baby as well. So today the food we are going to prepare is not for us alone, but it's going to be for our little kids coming as well. Especially those uh, singing when any those they don't have teeth. So don't go anywhere. Manko baby, don't skip through my video. Come along. Yawahen and Moaha. This is basmati rice. I've got a lot of, you know, Nkrofu people here who are going to eat. So we have our rice. I have already washed. It's nicely washed, as you can see. And then I have. One full spoon of butter you can use a uh, the unsalted butter as well i have salt to taste and i have my hot water as well so i'm just going to add the butter and the water together so the butter melts let's imagine now to make more better on in sunu wabanan as for uh, rice bowls in here in soup you need a lot of water yeah and then I will add my sauce to taste it's all you know my wallet you can add that's the sauce and then A mutsue with some katon kwan. I am going to add mine with granite soup. A mutsue. I know you know how to do it. This is just the idea. Uh -huh. For you know, you are sitting there. Oh, I have soup. What can I add to my soup? Charlie, go to the kitchen. Na fe munu gunsu muna chunisisi ala nonya what's on. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere now. We've mixed our butter and our water, and a you know, no matter fine. Maybe I end we are going to cover it not too much. If and the Ija Ija summon bring the fire summon down, Kakrawai. So we'll cover it and then we'll come back to it again to see if we need more water. So don't go anywhere, don't skip through the video, like my videos, share them. And subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Stay tuned. 
Oh, see, after 15 minutes, and I am on them now. Be the way today. Still, I know. Um, Benny. So, as he is busy, eh, Froyza, Nko ye. But, ye go tune in, you know. We still have to add water because it's not soft enough for us to mash it. You know. I'll still add more water. There you go. I will use my eta. To make holes in it so the water can go everywhere. There you go. And then I'll cover with parchment paper or baking paper so the heat can you know stay within within your within neighbors <laughs> no stranger so young cataloper let's cover and come back again uh, voila after 15 minutes again you know why them while you should name one pie to move only you wab bong. You see, you can see from the rice when it's ready to mash. You know, they they are all sticking to each other. So now it's time for us to mash them. And I say you true. If you want it harder, you can. If you want it soft, you can as well. It's the same method as benku. That's the other it's on our paper, so it's like doing pandadia. It's very pandadia, another amala. This is a make true one side are fine. So now I want to turn to the other side as well. This way. And I'll start from here. This can make it a bit easier. Just have to mash the surface first. And then gradually you go deep. If you start just bringing it from the uh, bottom to the top, uh, everything will make it basa. So you just have to take your time, do it from the bottom. Gradually, then as it's getting smoother on top, now nah, as you look then you are digging into the bottom. That is a mutuo with a katon pan. This can easily go with your banga soup, and it's easy for the kids to eat as well. Like toddlers, they can also eat. This emut way amazing. Finally, it's ready. Yeah, just so I don't forget. If you are mashing your uh, two way, another eight two with two way, you think it's too hard, another no more is now. You can equally add hot water. You know, you can boil water and then. Add it because if you add cold water, about my fire style. But if you add hot water, it's going to be nice as well. And again, with emutu, you can use um brown rice to do it or to make it because it's too hard. Brown rice, as we all know, is too 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 fluffy, fluffy, fluffy flies. So it's very hard, you know, for you to use a, a brown rice to do it but if you can still do it with brown rice why not you know we all have choices again if you are some ways say this is hilda's kitchen good food made in a clean environment this is just sandwich bag or freezer bag you can use to, you know, it's simple, it's just food bag. 
a hair to crack or to the intimate may I need it. My fucker, my baby, my damn it. dash Robin, Rob, any tina, a bit be idea. I mean, men such a sentence is a cassette. Now, my farm assumes so you don't want to overfeed them, so you have to be, you know, know how much you are giving them. It looks very small in here, but the amount of rice when you put it on the plate that will make one bowl you will marvel so we have to be careful how you know we give a mood way and fufu or that to our kids it seems a uh, kitten but it's always good they finish what they have before we give them another one you don't overfeed them obviously i'm going to put i'm going to sprinkle some water in there in there There we go. And so first, an anchor is yes, a bottle. Eh, chance to do nay a boa boa. So now we do it this way. Let's make another one. In your crunk, come on. Two and a bien quano. One bro, one bra. Helda's Kitchen. Good food, Ankasa. Made in a clean environment. You're a Saturday special. Voila. She's showing in her socks. Let's try it. So everywhere will be even. Nice and even. You wonderful and a mutu in a white radio rice bowls ready to go. And with my katon kwan, which will soon come as well. And mutu and I ready is ready to go, ready to eat. You are all invited. Oh yes, Ibana Papo. I know a lot of mummies we know how to make a mutu pass this video on to any youth you know they need to learn how to do our local food how to make their own local food so pass this video on to any youth you know female or male so they can also learn when we grow older now i am to win and this is Hilda's kitchen good food made in a clean environment this is Hilda's Kitchen. Good food made in a clean environment. What more can I say? Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching Hilda's Kitchen. God bless you so much. Thank you for sharing my videos. Pass this video on to the youth. They need to learn our local food. How you know they, they need to know where our culture, how we do our things. Let's help them. Let's teach them. You know, and thank you so much for watching Hilda's Kitchen. See you another time next week. Same time, same day. Arrivederci e buongiorno.